Hi, good morning everybody. I'm Dwayne Marino. Welcome to today's Autoversity. I've been a little remiss with my posts, so hopefully we're we'll back in the groove of things. Um, if you like this tip, please hit subscribe, share, like, or comment. And today's tip is regarding a, a term I've coined called the Fukushima effect. What is this? Well, as I found out, a lot of people uh, don't even know what Fukushima is. It's not being uh, presented in the news at all. Uh, you know, there's lots of other little ridiculous drama and stuff that they talk about day in and day out to rile us up and create emotional responses. And uh, Fukushima is a nuclear uh, plant in Japan that was hit with a tsunami, had a, you know, really a, a meltdown. And what's uh, going on now is the core of it is so hot there's no robots, no people, there's nothing they can do to get down in it and try to, uh, try to you know, quote unquote, shut this thing off or stop from emitting so much radiation. And um, on last count, it is, uh, um, you know, they're using ocean water to try to keep it cool, just basically dumping ocean water on it, pumping it back under the ocean. Um, several hundred tons of radioactive waste are being pushed into the Pacific every day. It's uh, potentially an extinction um, level event here for any systems that rely on the ocean. And let's face it, the entire planet relies on that. It's a big problem. So I'm drawing that to your attention, you're not heard of it, because we've got to get some resources, some intelligent uh, you know, people, uh, whatever their craft or skill may be, to really start trying to figure this thing out because I really cannot get my head around the fact they can't seem to shut this thing off. But what the Fukushima effect is um, in terms of psychology, which is, you know, if anybody knows my stuff, what I love. And I love provoking people with some of my posts on Facebook. I find it comical some of the responses I get or don't get on certain posts, um, what people are you know discussing. And if you've been in my training, you know I'm not just about information. I get you kind of thinking and poking and prodding you in certain directions just to get a rise out of you. Um, I think that's a, you know a component that's maybe missing in some of our lives with all the focus on political correctness and afraid to say anything to anybody. But um, I, I think Fukushima is so big and so bad that nobody wants to talk about it. The media's not bringing it up, politicians don't talk about it, business people, governments, um, you know, I just don't see it being discussed. And it's, it's, it's a horrendous event. So if you're faced right now with something like maybe trying to start your own business, uh, a lifestyle change, maybe you've got a great idea you want to, uh, you know, uh, take to the market. Uh, maybe you're, you know, uh, a situation where you're about to make a you know, a move out of the house if you're a young fella or young girl and, um, you know, you, you're not ready to kind of make that jump. You want to buy a property, but you're scared. I, I think when we freeze, you know, that fight, flight, or freeze response, I'm kind of going to coin right now for this one, the Fukushima effect. It's so big in some of our minds that we just can't seem to get started on it. And it's much bigger than just procrastination. Now, um, with Fukushima, we don't have a comparable model uh, to discuss or take a look at or analyze to give us a roadmap on how to fix this thing. It is way bigger, believe it or not, in radioactivity than Chernobyl or Hiroshima or Nagasaki ever was. And it continues to you know, go off every single day, every minute of the day, 24 7, 365. But we don't have a roadmap on how to fix this thing. So we can't look at it and say, well, this is what they did over there. So let's just copy that. However, in our lives, everything, and I mean virtually everything any of us could ever want to do, somebody else has done it in supreme fashion and we've got a model we've got somebody to look up to R&D which is research and develop what they've done and then R&D rip off and duplicate their techniques so there really isn't the same logic or reason to um, you know freeze in most of the things in our own lives as it would be with Fukushima but hey I understand it because I do it too so I, you know I give these tips don't think that I'm not uh, you know uh, somebody that's uh, struggling with the same issues is how I come up with the tips. I've got a lot of issues I struggle with and then I kind of come up, you know, get my head around it and come up with something that I can post that we can all relate to. So if you're shov uh, shoving, yeah, there you go. Just shove yourself into the right direction. If you are suffering from the Fukushima effect, I guess what you have to first do is uh, cultivate, analyze, reflect, meditate, whatever you want to call it, on what your options are. Take a good look at the problem front to back, left to right and top to bottom, and then make a move. You know, just make a move, just do something. Any decision is better than nothing. I remember driving down the highway with my father when I was younger, we used to do a lot of hunting. There was a rabbit on the road, and as we're coming up to this rabbit, I hate to say it, it got creamed, we ended up killing it. It was too icy, too snowy, we couldn't stop. And the comment was after that happened, that that rabbit would have lived if it jumped right, or if it jumped left, but in its hesitation looking at us, it's ultimately what cost it its life. So hesitation um, is something you really just don't wanna have going on too long. Make a decision, 
make your move, and create a great day. I'm Dwayne Marino. We'll see you soon.